Hey, what's going on, my crazy family? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I'm your host, Void Ripper, here today. And guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial video where we're going to be talking about January update and December update of 2021 and 2022 of NVE. I hope you guys are ready for the tutorial installation. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video to look at the tutorial here today. So if you do enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. Also, click that notification bell as we are now in 2022 where we have big things planned. But no, if you enjoy what you see around here, please check out my other socials as well and follow me on Twitter. Twitch, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6.30 p.m. EST. I hope you guys come out and check me out there. But no, I appreciate everybody clicking on the video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, I have the NVE 5M package extracted and ready to go on my desktop, as you can see right here, everybody. So what we're going to do first, really quickly, is open your NVE 5M package. And you're going to have the WinRAR file pop up. And as you can see, you have ENB required, main package, and optional add-ons. Those are the three files that you need three folders I should say that you need for this up for this tutorial moving forward now that you have this folder open be sure to go ahead and just minimize it for now as we're gonna find your application data folder so what you're gonna want to do is go down to your little search bar here this is working with Steam this is all this is gonna be this is gonna be for Steam not for Epic Games Epic Games I do not have on GTA and I don't want to just purchase it just to make a tutorial on it so for right now if you are an Epic Games user I apologize I'm sure there's tutorials out there maybe I'm not so sure but this is for Steam so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to type in 5m on your search bar here if you're on a windows machine you want to hit open file location and then keep right clicking on the same file until you get to this screen right here open file location again and you will be right here with the beautiful 5m application data folder that you're going to need to open really quickly as now you have that open you are set to go for this now one last thing we're going to do before we actually get started you're going to minimize this folder and now you're going to find your grand theft auto 5 folder so the biggest and the easiest way to find it is pretty simple so you want to right click on your file explorer since you have many things open now just click on your file explorer go down to windows c program files 86 all the way down to your steam folder and then you're going to want to go down to a folder that has steam apps go to common grand theft auto 5 and boom you are in your grand theft auto 5 directory you can also go to the steam app and do it that way as well if you prefer it that way either way you're going to find yourself in the exact same location i am in now you're going to want to minimize your grand theft auto 5 directory folder keep that open and open back up your 5m application data folder and your nve folder that you have downloaded from the just link in the description now i'm going to move this over just for tutorial purposes so what you're going to want to do when you have both of these folders open you're going to want to go ahead and go over to mods in your 5m application data folder this is how this mod works you don't go to your citizen folder or anything else it goes into your mods folder as you can see I have the mod installed already so this is what the mod looks like and all the files that I have so in the NVE package you're gonna want to go over to main package and click to mods if you would like to you go ahead and you can basically just drag and drop this mods folder into your directory folder where you get this mods folder so you can just drag and drop it into here but just to play it safe we're gonna do it all by hand we're gonna go into the mods folder and we're just gonna highlight all of these files here and you're gonna want to drag and drop them into here it's gonna ask me to replace it when it's all done it's gonna take a second because it is a big file size as you can say it's gonna ask me to replace my same files I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them anyway it's the same exact mod no big deal at all and when you are done with that you're good to go now next you're gonna back out of here and keep backing out until you get back to this screen right here and then you're gonna go down to optional add-ons this is all of the fun add-ons that NVE comes comes with and what makes this mod stand out from other graphics mods for your game I'm going to basically install all the stuff that I personally use or other th stuff that I would recommend for you if you would like to use it if not you can go ahead and install every single one of them it does not matter it's whatever you want to do it is your preference that's why it's called the optional add-ons folder so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to number two the brighter emergency lights this is your ELS lights you know your emergency lights if you don't know this is what makes them look beautiful like bright and more vibrant there's four settings that you can use and it's very very easy for me I use the high intensity setting you go ahead and just drag and drop that into your mods folder and you are good to go if you would like really really bright emergency lights go with the ultra intensity and also if you want to make them a little bit brighter you can go ahead and adjust them in the ENB menu when you get the mod installed so next we're gonna go 
back to the main screen here, and we're going to go to Rhodes Overhaul Pack. You want to go ahead and just open that, drag and drop that. That is your custom Rhodes that NVE comes with, along with all the other customization with it. It looks amazing. Now, the next thing that is actually pretty popular and a lot more newer with newer versions of the mod is Darker Nights. So Darker Nights basically makes your nights look a little bit more darker, a little bit more legit looking instead of like, you know, pretty and blue and vibrant. So if you would like that in there, go ahead and do that. I usually don't use it because I personally don't like the Darker Nights. So that is completely your choice, but you can just go ahead and just drag and drop that in there as well. Basically every single file, you open the folder and you drag and drop it in there. But the next one that I use is number seven, more car engine smoke. You just drag and drop that in there. I use it because it gives more, your smoke more life and it honestly just adds more. And I really, really like it. The next one I use is number eight, vanilla unicorn interior. You know, you can have another nice interior for vanilla unicorns. I'm sure there's more out there that you want, but I like the NVE version. It looks very, very nice. So the next thing I use is number nine, mission row police department overhaul. So what mission row overhaul does is it actually changes the look of the default GTA version of mission row. So if your 5M roleplay server or just your 5M server has the default mission row interior, then you can go ahead and just install that in and it'll make mission row look a little bit better. But if you have a custom mission row in there that is not the same as the default one that GTA has, like the outside is completely different and it doesn't change anything, this will not work for you. So just judging by your mission row that's what I would suggest for you to install mission row but since I have played on servers where mission row has not been any different I have just installed the mission row interior overhaul so the next one we're going to look into is Northern Lights in Blaine County. So Northern Lights is, you know, you know what those are, the beautiful lights that you see up north. Well, you can put those in your Blaine County at night and they will always appear. Personally, I don't put them in because I think it makes the game look a little bit more green and a little bit more orange, like just kind of a weird color overall. It's like a greenish orange look to it. It doesn't look so great for me, especially with the ENB settings that I personally use, which I will show you in the later parts of the tutorial here. You can just go ahead and just drag and drop that into your folder as well. But once you get done with all of your add-ons and you are satisfied with everything you've put into your folder, you can go ahead and close out every 5M application data folder. You will not need that anymore for this tutorial. But the next folder you're going to want to open is your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder and we are going to go into the ENB required folder. So in your folder, you're going to have three different ENB settings. ENB straight away is an FPS killer. Like you are going to lose a lot of FPS by default. So Personally, if you would like to put ENB in, go ahead. Like seriously, just go ahead and put ENB in. It looks awesome no matter what. But if you have a low end PC and you just want to install the mod, you can go ahead and do that pretty simply. You don't have to install the ENB at all. It looks fine. It's not going to kill your FPS like ENB will. But moving forward, if you're going to install ENB, you're going to want to go over to the medium settings. I don't really recommend putting in the ultra settings unless you have a high, high, high end PC. Or if you want to put in the low settings and you don't want too much ENB, be, then go ahead and put in the low settings. Either way, it's going to kill your FPS just by default. So as you can see inside the medium settings folder, there are new files in here. And I said this in the last tutorial for the November update, there is a new folder called the shader input folder. And quite frankly, I am not going to put this in. I don't have it in right now because the shader input adds more FPS loss to your game. I think with the shader input, I went down to about 30 to 45 FPS versus usually when I have everything else in, I'm sitting at like 60 to 85 frames per second, even while streaming and recording. So that's why I have the shader input off. I personally would much rather just lose that new feature of NVE versus actually losing performance loss in my stuff. But it's pretty simple not to install it. If you want to install it, go ahead and highlight everything and just drag and drop it into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder. If not, press left control on your keyboard and select the shader input with a left click and it will not select it anymore. But then all you have to do is just drag and drop your files into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder. It's going to ask me to replace files because I already have the mod installed, but it's not going to ask you to replace anything because you don't have it in unless you have ENB already installed it will not ask you to replace any files but once you have that installed you are basically done with your NVE installation but however if you want to see another preset with NVE and how to install that preset stick around really quick and I will show you how to do it alright so as you have your NVE folder closed and you have your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory still open you're gonna to want to go down to the second link in the description down below and download 
this preset called Monster Killers ENB preset. This is the best looking NVE preset I have ever seen in my life. It looks awesome. I cannot thank Monster Killer for blessing everybody in the GTA 5 community for giving us this. This is amazing. He's a very talented guy. But once you get open this folder, you're going to drag it to your desktop, close out of every single pop-up that WinRAR is going to have, and then you're going to want to click on the Monster Killer ENB folder, and you're going to be open to all these files. Now you're like, wait a second, don't I just install all these files? No, you don't. You only install three files, and I mean three. Otherwise, this mod will not work with the other ENB series. So what this means is you have to only install these three files. ENB series file folder, ENB series.ini, and ENB local.ini. Basically, this is the big part of this whole tutorial, and I cannot express how many times I get comments saying, oh, the ENB series for Monster Killer does not work. It makes my game look weird. It doesn't even it doesn't even look like ENB's in. I have to disable the effect in order for it to work. This is why this doesn't work. You have to only install these three files, otherwise it will not work. So with that being said, when you highlight those three files with left control and a left click, you're gonna wanna drag and drop those into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, and it's gonna ask you to replace files. You're gonna wanna go ahead and hit replace, and that is all that it is to it. Those three files go in there and you are all done so when you are done with that you can go ahead and X out of all your folders you are done but as always I will see you guys in the end game portion for this video alrighty we have made it into the end game portion of this video and as you can see the mod is installed it looks absolutely stunning it looks beautiful overall I cannot really just be more happy with how this mod looks overall it's such a great mod and that's why i always use it overall really quickly i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some lights really quick of the vehicles here so i do not have codes for the actual work in progress vehicles for this 5pd server so i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in the vanilla versions of the car so you guys can go ahead and see how the lights look but overall this is how your lights look they look awesome overall i cannot express at how beautiful they look they always look amazing and plus you know this is just on the default car imagine how this would look on like a charger or a ford explorer or something for your 5m roleplay server or your 5pd server moving forward but no everybody i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope you guys did enjoy the installation of the 2022 updated version of nve i hope you guys did enjoy as always but no if you haven't already be sure to hit that like button down below hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for future uploads and also other videos on the channel as well go ahead and follow me on all my socials down in the description and finally if you have any sort of questions be sure to leave a comment and I will try my best to answer you as soon as I can if not also please join the discord server if you have other questions as well and plus you'll get sneak peeks to future content on the channel as always hope you guys did enjoy it once again and also spread joy and positivity and I'll see you guys in the next one take care